Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video I am going to show you that how we can write Cisco PL app image in Raspberry Pi instead of Raspbian OS. This Cisco PL app image is an alternate for Raspbian OS. If you write this image in Raspberry Pi, then no need to write Raspbian operating system in your Raspberry Pi. Actually, this Cisco PL app image is a Cisco proprietary operating system in which Cisco added one more layer over the Raspbian kernel for easy user interface through which the user can interact easily with the Raspberry Pi device. If you install this Cisco PL app image, then no need of having an external monitor for your Raspberry Pi. You can directly connect your Raspberry Pi through the laptop itself. We will see how to do it. So these are all the steps to be carried out to execute this scenario. So step 1, we have to format the SD card first, minimum 8 GP is required. If it is 16 GP is good enough, but minimum we have to go with 8 GP. This formatting the SD card is an optional one, because if you have already used your SD card for some other data storage, then you have to do this format. Otherwise no need if you are buying it uh, first one, then no need to do this format. And second step, you have to download the Cisco PL app launcher and Cisco BDA which is Big Data Analytics 2.0 version PL app image. PL actually stands for prototype lab application. This is the image file. We have to write this image file in the SD card. Through the writer we call it a Cisco PL app launcher. Cisco also providing this writer software through which you can write your image operating system image in the SD card. Once you have downloaded these two softwares, the third step you have to open the Cisco PL app launcher through which you can write it. So under that you have to do these five steps. We will see one by one. And the fourth step we have to insert that SD card and you have to give this power supply. And next we have to check whether that Raspberry Pi is connected or not. So in the same launcher you have an another menu called available device menu. Through that you can see whether that Raspberry Pi is connected or not. That is the last step. We will see one by one. So here I have downloaded the files, PL app launcher, and this is my image file, big data analytics image file provided by Cisco. And this is a formatter used for SD card format. This also you can download. If you don't have this file, no problem in the description. I have given the Google Drive link from where you can easily download all these three files okay first step we have to install this pl app launcher it's just a normal installation task if you run it it will give you next 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 you have to go with that and finally it will get installed and have this copy in your directory wherever you like it so i have already installed this pl app launcher now i will open it so now you could see this is my pl app launcher software i have installed and uh, this is that window how it should be how it looks like and here you have two options set up new device and also here you will have uh, available devices so first we are doing press go to the setup new device as i listed here we have to follow up these five steps step one move to set up your new device menu so now i am in set up new device menu and second step we have to select the SD card drive. So once you have inserted your card reader with SD card, automatically here the drive will be loaded. If not, you just give refresh button. And next, choose the PL app image. So here you have to choose that downloaded image as I told you that big data analytics image from Cisco. So browse. So I have stored it in my desktop. So here this is my image, I am just loading that here. So this image I am going to write it in this SD card. And here I have to give the unique device name and password for my PL app device. So here I am giving my device name as MyPy, you can give any name. This is like the identification of that device. And device password, this password you have to use it when you get into that device through that browser. So here I am giving the password as let it be password you can give any for my side i am giving it as password and this is what an optional one but as per my suggestion you please give this one wi-fi ssid and password which makes you to 
connect with your raspberry pi remotely this wi-fi ssid and password is most needed one now here i am going to give the ssid and password for this raspberry pi so let it be cisco is my ssid and uh, the password is going to be cisco 1234 so here i am using my ssid and password under that you have two options one is to write disk image and another one is to update config only now this is the very first raspberry pi image we are writing it up so first we have to write a disk image so click this one so it will ask you the confirmation once you give yes here you can see that zip file here it is unzipping that image file wait for a minute it will take some time just wait so here you will get a notification that if you write this image then that content will be erased in your flash drive so just click yes to continue so once you give yes it will overwrite that content in your sd card and writing the image in your sd card so here you can see the percentage of image writing in your sd card wait for 100 percentage so now it is going to get finished so once everything is done you will get a notification here the device my pi is provisioned and added to the list of devices and click ok and here you will get a notification this is mandatory in some cases it will write up to 99 and finally that chestnut.txt file i will show you that file that file will not return into the sd card that file is so important one so you have to receive this all done successfully message until unless your raspberry pi will not work so ensure that when you are writing this image you are getting this message or not okay and click ok and if you go to available device here the device which you have created my pi is listed now it is in offline this my project which is another one no need to worry about this this my pi is the one which we added now but right now it is in offline because we not yet insert into the raspberry pi so we will do it now and make this offline into online so once done uh, we have to open our uh, drives so here you could see that flash drive divided into two drives f and g but actually all the stuffs installed in this drive f drive only you can see cisco pl app automatically relabeled in this drive so if you open this drive here are so many softwares packages files will be there but here we have to look at one important text file which is uh, called as chestnut.txt file so just to open this file here you have to confirm that whatever you have configured through pl app launcher that device name whatever you have given it in that launcher here you have to confirm it and the password and ssid and the wi-fi password so this text file is useful when you move to different places there if you have different wi-fi ssid and password you just remove the sd card and put it in the card reader and open this f drive and open this chestnut.txt file and here you can rename this uh, ssid and password if you are in different places and all and uh, control s to save it and you can remove it put it in your raspberry pi and you can connect it very simple for this activity we need raspberry pi card reader 16 gp sd card and power cable we will see one by one so step four insert the sd card in the raspberry pi and give the power now you can see I have inserted the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and I have given the power. Step 5 which we have to move to the PLR launcher. So here we have a available device menu. So this is my device which I have configured. Now I have the Pi is booted up. The Raspberry Pi is inbuilt Wi-Fi. So wait for a minute to connect with this available device status to get change. So now you can see if it is not connecting just click this use broadcast mdns option so once it will be broadcast it will catch your raspberry pi and that status now it is getting changed with the raspberry pi ip address so raspberry pi connected with this network 192.168.137.130 ip and uh, one important thing you have to ensure that your laptop and your raspberry pi should be in the same network otherwise your laptop will not get connected with the raspberry pi that means to say is with same wi-fi network so click connect it will open it in the browser here cisco pl app user interface so here i have to type the password which 
we have created during the setup new device so i have given password as my password so here i am typing password and click login and first you will get a confirmation here agree so this is your interface user interface which is as i told you this is copy app I have created one more layer over the raspbian kernel which will provide the user interface through gui mode graphical user interface so this is the graphical user interface and which is very useful and very easy to connect with your raspberry pi so by default here you have your course material which is provided by cisco for studying the cisco iot fundamental courses so there they have three modules connecting things this packages and all they have given inbuilt so from here you can study that materials and all for first you have to start with new here you can find terminal window so this is the one where you can connect with your raspberry pi so go to terminal so this is your terminal screen so here give ls so by default whatever is listed here that is listed in the cli mode this is command line interface mode so here you can create your python file like nano sample dot py is my sample python program so here i am just printing the message welcome to raspberry pi and give control o to save your files and control x to come out of it and uh, to run the file python just sample dot py if you give enter here that python program executed so like this you can create more python exercises like whatever in the previous video i show you how to make led blink using python program that python program here you can create it by using nano command and execute that python program using python interpreter hope you understand so if you give ls command again here you could see sample dot py created and if you go to the home page also you can see sample dot py if you click this file it will open it in the editor normal editor so here also you can type it for example print hello world control s you can save it and if you go back to your terminal window and if you execute it here that whatever changes you have done it updated in your output page okay this is how you can work with this raspberry pi pl app image and also you here you can uh, create a folder for example my project folder and inside this my project folder you can create your project and all and if you want to upload suppose if you are downloading some program from internet now you want to upload it inside this folder means here you have a upload button just click it so from here you can upload it where you have downloaded that files directly to your raspberry pi okay so uh, this pl app image is very useful and user friendly to navigate with your raspberry pi rather than raspbian os hope you understand thanks for watching if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe this channel for getting more video updates bye bye